If you say so. Got it done. I guess we should be flattered that someone sent those things after us. But I would have preferred a card. I'd heard rumors of the Eyeless, but I always thought that name was a metaphor. Though, I would have called them Mace Hands of Doom, if anyone had asked me. Non non committally, that's why they didn't. Their name doesn't matter. They'll fall by my hands all the same. That's the top one. So, this is the mysterious army you've been dreaming about, huh? It's a wonder you're getting any sleep. That's why we're going to the Abbey, to stop them. <sighs> I'm regretting all of my decision-making up to this point. Still, I guess a suicidal plan is better than none. So let me mind. Thought you'd be happy you're looking for the Abbey a long time. Don't worry. I'll find the salt wells, too. I know, it's just... Uh, well, knowing that I'm finally close to getting rid of this memory, it, it feels like it's crowding my head that much more. It's been with me for decades. Driven me halfway across the known world. <laughs> and it sounds like an unhealthy relationship. Perhaps you need to get it off your shoulders. This would be easy if you just tell me what you're. This would be easier if you just tell me what you remember. <sighs> you're right. It was a war, centuries ago, before a deer in unification. I was a soldier then. Led a campaign across the northern forests to subdue some of the outlying Kalkland villages. Lost a third of my forces to the forest, and another third to the elven scouts hiding in it. By the time we reached the first village, we'd crushed their defenses, and they'd bled us. Wasn't much more than children and the elderly left, but they spit on us when we marched into town. The village elders surrendered, and offered us lodging in the old meeting hall. And when the sun set, they tried to burn it down around us. They barely got a flame going. But that wasn't the point. What is, is it? What was it? They betrayed you after surrendering. It seems serious to me. You had to make an example of them. Uh oh. In their defiance, I saw months more of pointless, bloody battle as we fought for the rest of the region. I had to break them. And I had to send a message to the rest of the villages. So I nailed every last one of them to the trees around the town and left them there to die. Whoa! What happened then? You killed those villagers to prevent more fighting? You've been a mercenary pirate in this life. Is that really so different? Uh, that's terrible. That wasn't you, man. You got no reason to hold on to the earth a hundred years ago. Dang. That's what I kept telling the troops. But if I'm honest, I was angry. I wanted to see pain. And I wanted to be the one holding a blade. What happened then? I never remembered more. Eventually, Adir and Kulklin united. The gentlefolk forgave each other for what they'd done to each other's people. You've been a mercenary and a pirate in this life. Is that really so different? <laughs> I've done my share of fighting these forty-odd years. But I've never drawn my blade just to watch someone bleed. And I've never drawn it on someone who didn't have his own in hand. That's terrible. That wasn't you, man. I got no reason to hold him every five years yet. You'll be rid of it soon. Anyway, we should get going. Something I've been saving for.
Come a long way to get some air, have you? What are you doing here? I'm looking to get inside. Uh, enjoying the fine weather, just a bit longer. He smiles, letting a cold smoke from his head. My mistress has business with the Ordenites. We'll be off soon as she's done with the Abbey. Meanwhile, I was told to stay put. They don't want any outsiders meeting her in her She's always put some kind of hex on me. She already put some hex on me. Says I won't even remember any of this, but the copper's worth it. She says I'll wake up at home with a full coin purse opposite of most of my mornings, so that had a certain appeal. Tell me about your mistress. Which one? She lets out it. He lets out a chuckle. Wish she were the fun kind. She's a gift giver. Paid me well to guard her on the journey, though. Would get inside? Are you now? Pulls the pipe away from his clenched teeth and points to his long stem. As eh, far as I know, straight this way. The middle path on the right. Straight this way. The middle path on the right with the ruined arch. If they let you in, of course. This is going through the archway. I spoke to some guards that I'm headed on. We got eyes on the other pass. Cast me dirty looks from far of the pass that way. Grunts as if I stand there in plain view. If I had some grand design sneaking in this church. And <clears throat> what's an abbey worth that's worth hiding anyways? Monks? Do you know any other ways from there? No, but it's an abbey. Not a fortress. You bet it's got holes like any fat old monster. Supply passages. Escape routes. I'd be lying if I said I'd never explored one uninvited when <clears throat> I was too young to know better help myself in these relics. Why help me? You gotta look about you. You need it. Alright, there we go. Rising tide. Hard to imagine a whole sect living out here. But I guess that's the point. Even our visitor is to be turned away, he said. What interest would our quarters hold? Our quarters aren't the worry. It's our brothers and sisters below. Hold, who's there? Like, Capo is waiting for me. I'm in the tavern. Just looking for a way out. For the way out. You're trespassing here. Dang it, they're already attacking me? What? Alright, restart. Okay, I'm back. I had to restart that. That was not mm -hmm. what I was expecting. Hard to imagine a whole sect living out here. But I guess that's the point. I should not have peered over the edge. I could see no bottom. Alright. Kato is waiting for me. I'm the type of garden eyes and arrow. How can I be sure? Perception. You don't get many visitors, do you? Who else would choose you from here but the Tidebringer? <clears throat> Forgive my caution. You're told to expect you. The high habit waits you inside. There you go. Perhaps if you pray, the lady will allow you to forget. So here is a stealth way of doing it. You stand on the precipice of a fissure that time has torn into a mountain upon which the abbey stands, whistling winds call out from the depths of the crevasse. Mournful whales hinting at the great descent into the edge in the dark sorry, at the great descent from the edge into the dark, lonely space below. In case in centuries of time a gargantuan skeletal hand hangs awkwardly from the gap, its fingers are splayed in pain pose, ice preserving the circumstances dance of the victim's death long after flesh right away. With only ominous moaning of the crevasse to disturb you thinking you consider your options inspect the area. 
considering the span of the gap and the position of Scott Tan, you believe a well placed grappling hook would allow you to reach the other side. The positioning this hook would be tricky, and the winds are not strong that would endanger attempts to cross. Cash a grappling hook. Let's do it. Middle finger is a large target, but it sits in the midst of the buffeting winds and threatened to blow the rope and grapple off course. Whoever casts his grappling hook will need to be nimble fingers to ensure a good throw. Um. Devil. Uh, Dang is grabbing cautious, waiting for release to reel up during a lull of gusting winds. During a quiet moment, Arendelle swings the grappling back and begins to rock the wave toss. Arendelle flinches and hit. I thought I said Devil. Karen Dang is cautious. Oh. Alright, well, anyways. Um, quickly spools the rope back from the depth to recover the grapple. Hmm. Uh, I, I guess I will do it. Can't seem to do it, can I? Is that hard? I mean, like, how many times is... Kauto knew Saman was upon us. The Tidebringer. It's been so long. My soul is ready, brother. The mural rendered on the face of the rock wall. Four panels seem to be arranged as a story of some kind. Inspect the mural. First panel. At through the end. Second panel. Simon, the flood. Third panel. Disman, the ebb. Fourth panel. Dithu, the beginning. Interesting. If you say so, that'll do. You look pale, sister. Find someone to take your place. I'll stand watch. I had hoped I was over this illness, but clearly not. I shall take your advice. Just exploring. Even our visitor is to be turned away, he said. What interest would our quarters hold? Our quarters aren't the worry. It's our brothers and sisters below.
So they let you through. Such a strange You must be our visitor. I have not the seen high or heard of anything inside. like it. Straight back. Even in Air Glanfa. If you say so. You've got it done. Smells like an ocean breeze. We've got to be close. They call out sometimes. Even the guards below think it's strange. Forgive me, Tiberian, but it's not in my power to allow you to pass. You will need the High Abbot's consent. For Andra, most like. They surely long for her embrace. If you say so, you've got it done. Journal of the High Abbot. This volume appears to serve many functions. There are notes in it detailing schedules, routines at the Abbey. There are favorite passages from Andre's text and notated with personal insight. There's also a description of dreams. Many seem purely symbolic, but one entry is interest. It has been long since I dreamt of my rising. Yet now, with another rising upon us, this is the fifth time in a week. Perhaps, channel here, I can put it to rest. I am oh, sorry. I am walking through the halls of silence. I feel eyes on me from all sides, angry, vengeful eyes. I arrange the panels and curl my hand into the sign of the tide, and right as the wave, and the right as the wave, and the, wait, I curl my hands into the side of the tide, the right as the wave, the left tracing the crescent moon with my outstretched fingers, the way opens to me. I climb the steps and Andra's witness is installed there, the old Aspergillum. Set to operate the valves. I use it like a lever and the water rises. There are angry shouts and when I cover my ears, they are louder still. But the water continues upward far past where it should. I climb as high as I can, but I feel it. I see on my feet. Then it's over my head and I cannot breathe. Suddenly I am outside the reliquary looking at a veil of tears. The witness is in my hand and the veil parts for it. I step through and the one place in the abbey I feel protected. Only when I pass inside, I come out in total darkness. I call for help help i'm shouting screaming for help there's no answer i stop I sit there in the dark waiting for what seems like ages then i realize i don't know who i am interesting found a record of the recurring dream from the high bed. it shows him performing a strange sign with the four panels then retrieving a rod-like relic from a nearby device and using to pass through a doorway of water into a walled enclosure somewhat outside the abbey Won't be able to help enter the reliquary without Andra's witness and ask for them kept in the Lord. Okay. Oh, I accidentally stumbled upon this guy. All right, where the other Andres and the Abbey were clad in drab and functional garments, this uh, Alma seems dressed for an occasion. His robe is bright and glossy. His neck and arms are bedecked with jewelry. The symbol of his goddess are crowned into every available space. Ah, <sighs> good. The Conclave has elected a Tidebringer after all. I had begun to worry. And they took my advice in providing you an escort. Very good. I am sorry I could not make your journey easier. I am Kauto, the High Abbot. I came as I could. As soon as I could. Now that I'm here, what is it you wish for me? I think you had me confused with someone else. Uh, what is it you wish for me? Surely the Conclave gave you some explanation of your charge. But of course, they sent you abroad in dangerous lands. The less you were told, the less we risked. You are here to perform the Rising. And once that is done, you will take my place here. When you are ready, 
We will begin with a recitation. The conclave mentions something about a reliquary about the recitation. How are you so certain I'm the Tiberian? How did you become the High Abbot? Let's do the conclave. Yes, of course. I would not pass my station to you without passing that knowledge as well. It is the Abbey's most sacred chamber. When the rising is complete, I will take you there myself. In fact, the ritual demands it. All right, about the resuscitation. <laughs> you seem nervous. <laughs> the Conclave chose you for a reason. For a devout follower of Andra, the answers will flow naturally to you. I remember my own rising. The Conclave sent me on the same exhausting journey. When it came time for the recitation, I could not remember a word. But it all came back in time. Our goddess smiles upon the forgetful. Our library is open to you, as are the grounds outside. There is a beautiful mural out there that you should see, if you haven't yet. And you may, of course, speak with the gift bearers here, if it helps your recollection. Take your time and examine these things before your recitation. I know you will not disappoint when the time comes. If you were not, you would be the first person to stumble across this place in all my years here. Andra protects us in this place. The faithful who stand guard here do it in her honor, not because we are vulnerable. You are our tide-bringer, aren't you? All right, well, uh, of course. Why else would I have come here in this place? Andra, forgive me for saying so, but the reasons are difficult to fathom. The land here can be... I was elected by the Conclave, as you were, but you already... It was unexpected. There were others more accomplished. I was merely a scholar. But they each had their faiths called into question, and no one could find cause to doubt mine. It was such an honor to become one of Andra's most trusted servants. It was... He seemed preoccupied. I expect I would be too in his position. Mmm, smells fresh. That can't be the salt well. The good bear holds in her hand a gem the size of a fish. She draws curved fine draws a curved line in the air over it, then tosses it into the water. As the gem hits the water, it disappears from sight as though it dissolved. What happened to that gem? What gem? The gem you tossed in the pool. <laughs> I remember no gem. You tossed it in. How could you have forgotten? Are you insane? The pool is blessed by Andra, the Tiber. Well, that, what does that have to do with anything? That's it. Enough of your cryptic nonsense. I know it's dead. All the belongings forgotten, all things forgotten belong to Andra. Uh, I won't be able to enter the Red Grieve without a witness, as we're in Captain in there. I thought I would record of the current dreams of the High Abbot. And allowed her to perform a sign. Right, I don't know why. I never knew. Did you hide in the White March after that? As far away as I could. The Dominels didn't care I was a gift bearer. Evidence is evidence. If you say so. 
That'll do. Even with your labors, your presence of mind never falters. I don't know how you do it. Perhaps your thoughts would swim deeper if your tongue didn't come out for air so often, dear brother. The High Abbot imparted to me that I wasn't alone, that he has nightmares sometimes as well. Truly? Oh, it surprised me to hear it. He has such a peaceful manner. Ain't that special? If you say so. You've got it done. This area is forbidden. I'll be going then. <laughs>